guys, so I'm going to be doing a no makeup makeup look for you today. This is inspired by Aurora from the film Maleficent. I'm also going to be showing you how to get Aurora's hair, which I really, really, really love. It's just like soft waves with two bits pinned back and I think it's super cute. It just gets your fringy bits out of your face. If you want to check out more things to do with Maleficent, there is actually going to be a Maleficent hub set up full of things to do with Maleficent. So if you're a super massive Disney fan like I am, you might want to go ahead and check that out. I'll definitely leave the link to that below, but that's going to be really cool. Anyway, if you would like to see how to get this Aurora inspired look, carry on watching. The first thing I'm doing is taking the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer and concealing my eye bags and all of my blemishes. Onto the Body Shop All-in-One BB Cream, which I am in love with at the minute. It goes on white and then when you blend it in, it turns into like your skin colour. It's really, really cool. So I'm just popping that on with a brush, obviously. <laughs> this is the perfect thing to wear for an Aurora no makeup makeup look as it's not too much coverage at all. In the film, Aurora has quite dark, naturally bushy brows, so I'm just taking my Anastasia brow wiz and filling them in. The only product I'm using on my eyes is Max Camel Coat Paint Pot, and this just gets rid of any discoloration or veins in your eyelids. To get naturally fuller looking lashes, I took a matte black eyeshadow and lined really, really close to my lash line. I then used one coat of the Rimmel Day to Night Mascara and I used the Day Side, so it's not that volumising, it just looks really natural. For cheeks, I took this Kiko Glow Touch Lip and Cheeks in the shade magnetic mauve and pop that on my cheeks and my lips. And finally I powdered the shine away down the centre of my face with this MAC Studio Fix powder. And this is a finished makeup look, now time to move on to hair. Aurora had quite natural looking curls in her hair, so I'm taking this Babyliss waving wand, which is kind of a square shape and it just makes your hair look more wavy rather than perfect curls, and I'm curling my entire head of hair. I'm doing all the curls the same way as well. Once that's done, I just comb through my hair with my fingers and this is super funky and reversed. I thought it looked really cool. <laughs> I think Aurora wears a few different hairstyles in the film, but I'm going to do this one, which is just a twist. So I took the front section of my hair and started twisting it backwards, but as I twisted it a bit, I added a bit more hair. Once I'd incorporated three sections of hair into it, I took it to the back of my head and just pinned it with a bobby pin. Once you've done, your twist should look something like this. It's just a super easy hairstyle to do and it will be perfect for school or just summertime. This is a finished look complete with hair and makeup. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I actually am getting into wearing less makeup recently, which is kind of strange because I've always been one for high coverage, but I'm really loving looks like this that just include very, very minimal makeup. They're just so pretty for summer. 
If you guys would like another Aurora inspired look, but maybe a bit more like evening appropriate with a bit more makeup on, I kind of have an idea in my head of what I would really like to do. But give this video a big thumbs up if you would like another look. Make sure as well you check out the Maleficent Hub, which I will leave in a link below. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and you'd like to see more of me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!